Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. Um, had a few people that wanted to, uh, they wanted to see how our, our, our deployable solar blanket kit works. So I've got an example here. We've got three different sizes, just so you know. We've got our 200 watt, our 215 watt, and our 120 watt. This is our 215 watt. I'm gonna show you how I connect. This is my forerunner here. How I connect the solar blanket. It's a little bit windy, so we'll just watch that. Um, we can do one of two things. Uh, we can lay it on the ground, but I'm gonna put it on the windshield this time, just to get it, give everybody an idea. And where you would use a deployable solar blanket kit would be you don't necessarily have to have a setup like how my forerunner is here but let's say you just have a regular vehicle you want to use for camping or because of this covid this what's going on with this this pandemic you, you want to just be prepared that if you want to protect your family you want to get out of the city uh, just to be ready as a just in case you could have a portable fridge freezer there's many different brands you could have you could have that in your vehicle you could have multiple other devices that you can charge Basically, the whole premise behind this is you don't have to have your vehicle running to charge a battery. You can run off of solar, and you also don't always need a secondary large battery pack. Let's say like a, like a Dometic uh, PLV40 or uh, an EcoFlow or any of the Energy Apexes or Goal Zeros. Not everybody really needs those. It just depends on your specific need. So here, I'm just going to show you guys here. I'm going to pull it, lay everything out. The bags here are actually made by Overland Gear Guide out of Salt Lake City. So this is our 16 and a half foot extension cable. We use 10 gauge cable with that. And that's designed, you can, I've used up to three of these together and I had no loss of, um, no loss of amperage or no attenuation, whatever you want to call it there. And then the other devices that come with it, we've got our battery clip cable, which is right here. And this specific package becomes with a 20 amp uh, MPPT solar charge controller. So I'm just going to plug this right in. Pretty simple. Everything's color coded. So you've got red for positive, black for negative. You've got a 30 amp inline fuse here, which you can pop off and replace if required, just for safety's sake. So I just connect those to the terminals. And by the way, how I'm connecting this, this is exactly how you would connect it. Because basically you want this solar charge controller right here. You want it to be able to read the battery first before it reads the solar because they're smart solar charge controllers. This way they can see it, know how to charge and discharge it. So I'm going to plug it in and there's no, there's only one positive, one negative. So you can't reverse polarity on that. I'll give you an idea if you just come right in there. I don't know if you can see with it. It automatically detects it. It sees it. It's on there. Uh, I'll, I'll just go through. So we're at 12.3 volts. We're at 45%. I do have the AC running right now. The only reason I'm doing that is you actually get a better draw. Like if my battery was fully charged, I wouldn't get a draw from the solar. So that's the reason I'm doing that. So let me just close the hood here, guys. I don't want to scratch my hood, so I'm just going to put it upside down. And then I'm just going to add the solar blanket here. So again, this is our 215 watt, 13.6 pounds. And we've got a new design for this year for 2020 as well, too. We've got our standard, standard Anderson SB connector here. Bonus to this is it can connect to any of our bug out kits. We have all of the cabling um, required so we can, if you have any of the bat major uh, brand battery packs out there, we can charge them. Any of them, anything from the uh, the Jackeries to the Max Oaks to the, um, uh, there's, there's just so many of them. It, it's like the, the Energy Apex, the Kodiak, the new uh, Flex that's coming out. There's quite a few different brands out there. Basically, if you're unsure, just give us a call or shoot us an email. We'll let you know if we can do it or not. And then also we have our new quick charge box in the back too. Two high speed USB and USB type C PD. Basically means you're future proofed. A lot of the new um, MacBooks, a lot of the new phones, my new uh, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, that actually charges from USB type C. In fact, the new uh, newest laptop I just bought that I had to replace my old one, that one actually charges from USB C. So pretty simple, you just take off the flap and then all I do, I just grab it lengthwise like I said, a little bit windy here right now. And we'll just give it a little bit of a shove on the windshield here. And then you just flip it over. There's one. I'll just get that out of the way. There's a third. And then I grab my 16 and a half foot extension cable here. I'm just going to lay it here. And then put this on so I don't scratch my hoodie any more than I've done already. Connect one end, and it doesn't matter if you connect this end or this end first. What matters most is that you connect the battery first. So we connect that, and the big bonus, guys, 
is there's actually an indicator here. There's your solar panel icon, so you'll know exactly where to connect. There is our battery icon. So what we've got going on here, we have 8.2, 8.3 amps going in. Got 132, almost 133 watts going in right now. And the battery's already gone up to 65, 66%. So it shows how quick it is. And right now we've got a bit of a haze back there. We are, yeah, we're at the tail end of the evening here. Yeah, 8.3 amp. This is rated for 11.7 amp. Our 200 watt is rated for uh, 10 amp, but our 120 watt is uh, rated for, uh, what is it now, 6.1 amp. So yeah, definitely check out our website, guys, offgridtrek.com. Any questions, I'm the owner, Rennie. Uh, let me know. We've got some great packages, and if you want something customized for yourself, we can do that as well, too. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye now.